As you learned in the sales opportunity video on this disc, there are over 800,000 container chassis in use in North America today. And every day, thousands of these chassis end up in repair facilities for minor and major repairs, generating a huge market for repair parts. In this program, we'll provide more detailed information about the most common container chassis in use today. The standard 20-foot 2-axle, the 2 and 3 axle 20 foot slider models, and the 40, 45, 48, and 53 foot gooseneck chassis. We'll begin with a description of the construction of each type of chassis. Then describe the general type of damage all chassis are subjected to. You should know that Buffers maintains a comprehensive and growing inventory of the parts used in all these types of chassis. An inventory that gives you the ability to become a single source supplier to existing and new customers engaged in chassis repair. The standard 20 foot 2 axle chassis is made up of two steel I beam mainframe rails joined with several cross frame braces. At the rear and front, the rails are joined with steel bolsters. On each end of the bolsters, there is a twist lock welded in place. There are two basic types of twist locks used on 20-foot chassis, the drop-in type and the cantilever type with a twist lock housing. The twist lock consists of the twist pin, a handle, and a latch. These twist locks mate and lock down with the corner castings positioned at each corner of the container. A one-quarter rotation of the twist lock pin secures the container to the chassis. A set of two crankable landing legs support the chassis at the front on either side. Each landing leg consists of a telescoping leg and a ground plate called a sand shoe which rests on the ground and supports the chassis and container. A cranking mechanism extends and retracts the legs before the chassis is detached from the truck or after it's been coupled. The crank is operated from one side of the chassis with a handle that folds away after use. Other components of a chassis include the axles, the suspension, and the electrical system. The two and three axle 20 foot slider chassis shares many of the same components with standard chassis, with the exception of its sliding suspension and axles. The slider chassis has additional wear parts, such as spring-loaded slider pins, with operation handles and levers. There are also slide tracks, slide stops, and brackets that get damaged and need replacing. The position of the slider section, either completely forward or extended to the rear, is determined by the weight of the container with its cargo. By extending the slider and the two or three axles backward, a heavier load can be carried without violating the DOT bridge formula. The 40, 45, 48, and 53 foot gooseneck chassis also share many of the basic features of the standard chassis configuration. Steel beams braced with cross members and crankable landing leg assemblies. Gooseneck refers to the front part of the frame that rises slightly higher than the rest of the frame. This elevated section is designed to fit into the gooseneck tunnel, a hollow area in the front center of the container floor bottom. The chassis and container is designed this way to enable the container over the drivetrain to sit lower on the road to improve bridge clearance. Another difference from the standard chassis is the use of horizontal pin lock assemblies to secure the front corner castings of the container to the front bolster of the chassis. There are also some 48-foot and 53-foot chassis for domestic size containers, which since 2001 require special types of pin locks. This is necessary because there is no room between the bottom of the front bolster and the tractor trailer wheels to utilize twist locks. However, standard twist locks are used to secure the rear corner castings of the container to the chassis. Container chassis are often damaged as they are moved into very tight staging areas at ports and depots where normally only 6 inches are allowed between the units. Damage also occurs when chassis are stacked and flipped and moved by yard tractors within the ports. Typical damage involves the sand shoes, landing legs as well as twist locks and pin locks when containers are loaded on and off the chassis. 
In slider chassis, the slider pin assemblies also take abuse from rough handling. As a Buffers USA dealer or distributor, you can draw upon our extensive container chassis repair inventory available from warehouses on both coasts to supply customers who repair chassis with everything they need to do their work. This completes our review of the most common types of chassis in use today. Remember, you can always find detailed, up-to-date information about our expanding inventory of chassis parts in the Buffers USA catalog in print or on our website. You may also want to review other modules on this disk to expand your knowledge of the parts sales opportunity for containers, as well as get more detailed information about some of the most requested container and chassis repair parts Buffers carries in its constantly expanding inventory. Thank you for watching.